In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the zoom effect using Google Map. So here, apart from the Hitfilm Express, I'm going to use the Google Map. Few months back, I made a video on animated map, but that was a little bit different. You can check that video on the i button or in the descriptions. But this is going to be a little bit different. It becomes like this. So let's begin. So before going to Hitfilm Express, first of all let's go to Google Map and search a particular location. Activate the satellite mode. Now we zoom in a particular location and you take a screenshot. So you again zoom out and another screenshot. So finally we are on Hitfilm Express and let's drag these two screenshots in our timeline. So before that let's make a composite shot, I think 7 seconds will be perfect here. And you just drag this through screenshot over here. So now here you can see two different screenshots but the location is same. That means the same location but two different screenshots. In one screenshot I have made the zoom in Google Map and in other screenshot the resolution is same. The reason I'm taking the zoom in version because if I take only one screenshot and make it zoom then there's a chance to be pixelated. So to avoid this it's very important to take a zoom in version of the same screenshot. So now you can see these two screenshots in our timeline. So before going to work any, so before going to start any work, always make sure that your zoom in version should be at the top of your bottom layer. So it means zoom in version should be at the top and zoom out version should be at the bottom. Okay, so now let's adjust these two layers. So this is the zoom out version. And this is the zoom in version of the same location. Now we need to adjust this position to the bottom layer so that it perfectly match you just reduce the opacity so that you can see the bottom layer over here so i think it is matching properly so now both the screenshots are properly matched now you just select both these two screenshots and make one single composite shot. So here you can see this is the combined composite shot of, of both the screenshots. So if I make it zoom here, there is no chance to be pixelated because we have already taken the zoom version of the same screenshot. Now it's perfect. Now to make it zoom in effect, let's apply some keyframe under the scale property. You activate some keyframes and go according to your wish. So as you can see after applying the keyframes, the results becomes like this. So okay, it's looking good. Now you can apply some color corrections. So let's choose the curve effect here. And under the control property, you can change your RGB channels. Let's choose here green. You can choose any color. Now over here you can apply some border. So to make it more realistic. So how to do that? So for that purpose, let's make a plain layer. I think uh, red color is perfect. Let's rename it as a say border. And just draw a rectangular mask over here. And you just make a duplicate of the same mask. And now under the mask, you just activate the subtract and just change your expansion property. So that the output becomes so that it becomes like a border. Now I'm going to make an another duplicate of the same mask. And here another transform property you just change the scaling mode so after doing this you can see it becomes like a bracket which seems to be like somebody is making zoom now in the middle portion you can also add a plus sign so that it will represent the center point of the entire canvas now to make it more realistic 
you can apply some you can add some clouds here i have already downloaded some png images of your clouds so here i'm going to drag here let's adjust your scaling and i'm going to animate this cloud so go to the position property let's apply the keyframe So after that, you just make the cloud layer parent to the composite shot so that our cloud can also animate according to the movement of the map. That means the zoom in, that means the zoom in and zoom out effect should be applied in the cloud also. So let's see how it looks. So as you can see, our cloud is also being zooming out. Now you can apply multiple clouds here. So after applying some sound effects, your final video becomes like this. So that's it for today. If you really enjoyed this video, then hit the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.